Graymont residents are expressing their frustrations tonight after learning grant money they initially thought would go to homeowners in their neighborhood will only go to a portion of the area. WVTM 13's Gladys Bautista joins us live in Birmingham tonight after attending a community meeting about the situation. Gladys, did the residents make any headway? Well, Sherry, I can tell you that residents were happy that they were able to have that meeting and get their questions answered as they now look for new ways forward. Greenmont residents taking the concerns straight to local city lawmakers Thursday evening. We're trying to find out where we fit in as residents of the Greenmont. This community meeting meant to answer their questions about the Federal Choice Neighborhood Implementation Grant awarded to the city for the redevelopment of the Smithfield Court public housing property and the surrounding Smithfield, College Hill and Graymont neighborhoods. $50 million in federal funds resident Onoyemi Williams believed homeowners of Graymont would see a part of. But that hope soon turned to confusion when she looked at this map, which outlines a specific portion of the area. All of the Graymont homeowners had been cut out of being able to um, receive any of the dollars and businesses in our area that are earmarked for the community and we don't understand. Those who are yet hanging on, I feel it's only fair they are due to receive something. We're an opportunity zone. After Williams and more than a dozen other residents expressed their concerns inside the old pan store building on 3rd Avenue West to Jefferson County Commissioner Sheila Tyson and their city councilor Carol Clark. Now on this map here, mm -hmm. are we not included the Graymont neighborhood in this money's given? They received their answer. It's not money allocated to neighborhoods. It's really investment coming into the area, which includes some sites in your neighborhood. It's a part of College Hills, it's a part of Graymont, and it's a part of Smithfield neighborhood. So uh, it's, it's really a perimeter around the public housing community that's being redeveloped. Tyson says with a clear answer, now can come a new way forward. Now they got a full understanding, we can actually collaborate with the county, the state, and the city and put a pot of money together. While Williams says it wasn't the answer she wanted to hear, she's looking forward to seeing change in her community through another means soon. These people came into this neighborhood when nobody wanted them there. And they stood the test of time. Williams tells me that she's looking forward to having another meeting with her community and local lawmakers soon to figure out how they can move forward and get everything that she wants done for her community done, uh, hopefully soon. We're live in Birmingham for you tonight. Gladys Bautista, WVTM 13.